Well, have you not heard of the false Sakel? Or have you not heard of the keen Lord Scroop? Have they attained Kinmont Willie on Harrowby to hang him up? Had Willie had but twenty men, twenty men as stout as he, Sakel had ne'er the Kinmontane with a score in his company. They let him throw the little rack and also through the Carlisle sands and brought him to Carlisle Castle to be at my Lord Scroop's commands. My hands are tied, but my tongue is free, and way will dare this deed of vow, or answer by the border law, or answer to the bold Bucklew. Ah, oh, hard thy tongue, thy rank reaver. There's ne'er a Scot shall set ye free. Before you cross my castle gate, I trow you'll take farewell of me. Fear ne ye that, my keen lord Scroop, old Kinmont Willie, he then said. I never yet lodged in a hostelry, but I paid my loin before I did. Now word is gained to the bold keeper in Branksome Ha, where that he lay. That they, they attain Kinmont Willie between the hours of night and day. He's taken the table with his hand, and the red wine spring on he. Christ curse upon my head, he said, but a vengeance of Lord Scroop I be. Oh, is my basne a widow's kirk? Or my lance a wand of the willow tree? Or my arm a lady's lily hand that an English lord should lightly me? Oh, were there war between the lands? As well I wot that there is none. I'd flight Carlisle Castle High, though it were builded a marble stone. I'd set that castle in a lawn, slokin' it with English blood. There's near a man in Cumberland should ken where Carlisle Castle stood. But since nay wars between the lands, and peace there is, and peace should be, I'll neither harm English lad or lass. And yet the Kinmont freed shall be. He's ta'en forty marksmen bold, were kinsmen to the bold Bucklew, with spur on heel and splint on spald, and gloves of green and feathers blue. Five and five before them all, like hunting men with bugles bright. And five and five rode with Bucklew, like warden's men arrayed for fight. And five and five like a mason gang that carried the ladders, bang and he. And five and five like broken men. And so we reached the Woodhouse Lee. And when we crossed the Stainshaw Bank, went to the Carlisle side we held, the first of men that we met we, why should it be but Fossa Keld? Where be ye gone, ye hunters keen? Quoth Fossa Keld, come tell to me. We go to hunt an English stag has trespassed on the Scots country. Where be ye gain, you martial men, quoth Fossa Kel? Come tell me true. We go to catch a rank reaver, his broken faith with bold Bucklew. Where be ye gain, you mason lads? We all your ladders lang and heave. We go to harry a corby's nest that wands not far for a woodhouse lee. Where be ye gain, you broken men, quoth Fossa Kel? Come tell to me. Now Dickie a dry hope led that band, and never a word or leer had he. Why trespass ye on the English side? Row for an outlet stand, quoth he. But never a word had Dickie to say. So he thrust his lance through that false body, and on we held for Carlisle town, and at the Stainshaw bank the Eden we crossed. The water was great and Nicholas fate, but never a horse nor man we lost. And when we came to Carlisle town, and to the English side we held, the first to mount upon the wall, himself the bold Bucklew. Then speedily to work we gaed, and raised the slogan a and ah, and cut a hole through a sheet of lead, and so we won to the castle hall. With hammers and with forehammers we guard the bars, bang merrily, until we came to the inner prison where William Kinmont he did leave. They fought King James and all his men had taken the house with bow and spear. It was but twenty Scots and ten that put a thousand in such a fear. And when we came to the inner prison where Willie Kinmont he did leave, Hey, sleep ye awake, ye Kinmont, Willie! Today's the morn that thou was to thee. Oh, I sleep soft and I wake oft. It's lungs that sleep and is flayed for me. 
Now give me service back to me wife and bairns, and all good fellows that spear for me. Then Red Rowan has hent him up, the starkest man in Teviot Dale. Abide, abide now, Red Rowan, till of my lord Scroop I take farewell. <laughs> farewell, farewell, my good lord Scroop. Bold King Montoy, farewell, he cried. I'll pay you for my lodging and meal when next we meet on the border side.